Hey, Miles and Grace. Hope you're doing well today. This is our last reading lesson for our book or using our book, Wash Your Hands. So I need you to get your book out and I also need you to get a different color highlighter than you used yesterday. Now, Miss Pam used yellow yesterday. So today I'm gonna use pink. Okay, now I'm also hoping that you have your piece of paper. Now your paper may look like mine, I don't know. All I have at home is notebook paper. You may have tablet paper and that's fine. I hope you have your pencils and some colored pencils or crayons as well, either way. So have those to the side just because you're gonna use those in a minute. So. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our lid off our highlighter and put it down here and we are gonna get straight to the book. So let's read our title together. Here we go. Wash your hands. All right, let's go ahead and open our book and let's review our words to know. Now, I want your finger to be up here pointing to the very first word that we highlighted. And I'm gonna say the word and I want you to echo it. Echo means repeating after me. Bathroom. Between. Fingers. Pet. Sneeze. Wash. Good job. All right, now yesterday we talked about how each page was using the same words over and over. We saw a pattern. Now there's a little bit of change in the pattern on the first page with the word before. Okay, remember we the rest of the pages had after. So what I want us to do is we're gonna read the part of the sentence that we highlighted yesterday, and then we're going to take our different colored highlighter and we're gonna highlight what it is that the little girl or little boy is doing. All right, so let's get right to it. Page three, finger underneath wash, eyes on your book. Are you ready? Here we go. Wash your hands before you... Now, what is she doing? What is she doing, Miles? She's getting ready to eat. That's right. So if you said eat, take your new highlighter and let's highlight the word eat. All right, page four. Highlighters down, finger underneath the word wash. Now remember, look at that picture. It should remind you of what she is doing. Here we go. Wash your hands after you. Did you say sneeze? If you did, you are right. Good job. So I want you to take your highlighter and I want you to highlight the word sneeze. All right, highlighters down. Finger under the word wash. Here we go. Wash your hands after you use the what? Bathroom. Very good. So we're gonna take our highlighter and we're gonna highlight when they should wash their hands. And it's after they go to the bathroom. All right, good job, Grace. Good job, Miles. Okay, let's turn to page six, put our highlighters down and our finger under the word wash. 
Remember, think about what the little boy is doing. Here we go. Wash your hands after you. Did you say dig? Yes, good job. All right, let's pick up our highlighter and highlight the word dig. That'll help us remind us of what he is doing. And page seven. Are you ready? Here we go. Wash your hands after you paint. Go ahead and highlight the word paint. Page eight. All right, highlighters down and fingers up here under the word wash. Here we go. Wash your hands after you, what's that word? Pet a dog. Good job. Go ahead and pick up those highlighters and highlight pet a dog. And let's look at page nine. Here we go. Wash your hands after you. What is she doing on the monkey bars? Play. Go ahead and highlight the word play. All right, Miles and Grace, last page. Now, this page told us where to wash your hands and how to wash your hands. So on the first part, we know the first word is wash. And it tells us to wash the what? Front and back. Let's read that together. Wash front and back. All right, so pick up your highlighters and I want you to highlight how and where you should wash your hands to remind you to wash them front and back. All right, highlighters down and let's do our last sentence together. You ready? Here we go. Wash between your fingers, too. Let's read it one more time. Wash between your fingers, too. All right, let's pick up our highlighters and highlight the word between and your and fingers two. Very good, Grayson Miles. Okay, so what I want us to do is we are going to read straight through our book together, and then we have a little assignment to do. I'm not going to stop and pause. We're just going to read together. All right. Magic reading finger, here we go. Wash your hands before you eat. Wash your hands after you sneeze. Wash your hands after you use the bathroom. Okay. Page six. Here we go. Wash your hands after you dig. Wash 
your hands after you paint. Oh, I wish I could hear those voices. Wash your hands after you pet a dog. Wash your hands after you play. Wash front and back. Wash between your fingers too. Good job, Miles and Grace. Excellent. All right, so here's what I would like for you to do. I'd like for you to um, mute, move your book to the side and I want you to go ahead and get a piece of paper and a pencil. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take the first part of our story and you're going to come up with a time of when you should wash your hands. But it has to be something different. It can't be something that was in your book. So for the what I want you to do first is we are going to write the word wash. So with your pencil and paper, and I'm actually going to do, do it on the whiteboard so you can see. Okay, now remember, it's the beginning of our sentence, so Miss Pam wants to see an uppercase W. Down, up, down, up. Can you see that? Okay, let's finish out our word, wash. A, and this should be lowercase. S and H, okay? Now you should be writing that word on your paper just like this and try to stay on your lines and make that an uppercase H and a lowercase A, S, H. Wash, can you see that where Ms. Pam did it on her paper? Very good. All right, now the next word that I want you to write is, what do you think it is? You're right, the word your. So we're gonna spell the word your. Now remember, when we're writing a sentence and we have a new word, we always put a finger space between our words because if we don't, they get very crowded. So make sure you've got that finger space. And I want you to go ahead and write the letter Y, okay? And then the letter O, U, and R. And all of those should be lowercase. So just like on the whiteboard on your paper, you should have a finger space between the word wash and your. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in so that you can see this. Okay, now, what is it that we've been talking about washing? That's right, our hands. So, you're gonna do another finger space, okay, and write the word hands, which is begins with the letter H, and it needs to be lowercase. Then N, D, and S. Okay, I'll give you a chance to get caught up and I'm gonna do my finger space on my paper as well. All lowercase letters. 
Remember, our letter formation is very, very important. See how Miss Pam put it in a nice straight line? I bet yours looks fantastic. All right, now I'm gonna let you choose in your brain. You can either write the word after or before. So what I want you to do is take a few minutes and think about when you should wash your hands after you do something. Or you can think about a time when you should wash your hands before you do something. I think Miss Pam is going to use the word after. So I'm gonna write the word after. I've run out of room, so I'm gonna come over here to the next part, or I'm sorry, to the left of my whiteboard, and I'm gonna write the word after. A F T E R. Now, if you had room on your paper, over here, make sure you put a finger space. But I'm writing a little bit bigger, just so you can see it. Now, if you wanted to write the word before, then by all means, you can do that. But if you wanna do after, you can, okay? I'm gonna let you choose. So you should either have wash your hands after or wash your hands before. Now, since I had decided to do after, I'm gonna erase this, erase that. And guess what Miss Pam is gonna write? I'm gonna share my answer with you first. This is something that I think is very important, especially right now during this time. Wash your hands after, I'm gonna write it out, And I'm gonna put my period because I have a sentence. Now, are you ready to see what Miss Pam wrote? Okay, it says, wash your hands after you shop. That's right. If we go to the grocery store to get our groceries, which I've had to do a few times, and I go to the grocery and shop for my food, I'm gonna wash my hands after shopping because I've touched a lot of things. So my sentence says, wash your hands after you shop. Okay, now I'm going to erase that because I want you to write your own. So you should have wash your hands after on your paper, or you could have written the word before. Notice my finger space. Now what I want you to do, Miles and Grace, is I'd like for you to think about when you should wash your hands. And I want you to write your idea next to the word you, like Miss Pam did. So if you need a little help sounding out the word, or if you need to add a few more words for it to make sense, go ahead and do that. You can get help from your mom or your dad or your babysitter or whoever you're with. And make sure to put that in your packet when you send it back to Miss Kinsey. And then after you come up with your um, sentence, I want you to draw Miss Pam a picture that matches your sentence. So I would probably have a picture or something like this. Wash your hands after you shop. So what I might do is draw a picture of my hand. Whoop, 
Look at that. That's a funny looking hand, isn't it? I might draw my hand and then I might draw like a little grocery cart or maybe draw some food. Like if I touched a tomato or a banana or maybe an apple. Okay, so that's just like an example, a little example. But I want you to finish your sentence and draw a picture that matches your sentence. And make sure you put that in your packet. Now, um, parents, if you are still with me, I would, and you do not have to do this, but I would love, love, love if you would video your kiddo and reading this book independently, following along with the words, and um, send me a video of that, or you can send it to Kenzie and she can forward it to me if you don't have my number. But anyway, I just would love to hear those reading voices and see their faces that would just brighten up my day in more ways than you can imagine. So anyway, Miles and Grace, I have really enjoyed doing this reading lesson with you. And guess what? I get to do one more. I get to do your last reading, your last reading lesson of the year. So I hope you guys are doing well. I miss you. I love you. And I want you to take your arms and I want you to give yourself a squeeze. Ooh, that's a big hug from Miss Pam. Give your brain a kiss. You worked hard this week. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.